Previously on Moe's Rants. Do I consider um, a sponsorship prostitution? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, especially if you're getting some out of it. Now, if, if it's just a dude that's like, if it that ain't no sponsorship, nigga, just tricking that money off, but. They ain't no sponsorship. You just a sucker. <laughs> yeah, you get an allowance. Just a conversation. But yeah, man, I think I think it is a form of prostitution. And you paying for something and then shit, I'm getting some sex in return. Yeah, that's that's, that's prostitution. Not me and none of this, but for them. Hell yeah. What she's doing is no different than what Roulette is doing right now, hopping out this car. Crazy we talking about that sponsorship. Because if that's the case, would this be considered a sponsorship? Her hopping out that car, she just getting some money from a guy. You see what I'm saying? Now, now they got theirs in legal paperwork, so that's just legal sex work. It's still sex work because sex involved, but at least they got a contract, though, to cover themselves. More people need to be honest in real life. What if a lady were to give me ten thousand a week? What would I do? What I gotta do for the ten thousand a week? <laughs> That's the first thing we gotta establish that because I ain't hurting for no money. But if you talking ten thousand? I'm not gonna turn down ten thousand if the stipulations are correct. You gotta let me know what the 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 what you expect, and I'm gonna tell you what I ain't gonna do. Because if not, hey, if I just walk away from this. <laughs> I'd have to know what that ten thousand come with. It's all public relations. Yeah, it definitely is. JT said coach is going to lose his wife. But yeah, 10, shit, 10 bands. Shit, 10 bands. She can't be no older than. It depends what she look like. No older than like 42, though. 10 bands. Anything over that. It's going to a nigga like me. It's going to call about 20. <laughs> 20 for me to pull up and hang out. <laughs> Come over and play the game for a little bit and then dip out. Come over, eat some dinner, and then dip out. <laughs> I ain't heard for no money to be nobody's damn slave. <laughs> What you doing today, man? I gotta go see my old lady. Man, that old motherfucker. Man, she paying me 10 bands. Like, nigga, you sound like a sucker. You sound stupid as hell, man. Yeah, but it's 10,000. All money ain't good money, y'all. It ain't. Now, I'm I'm telling y'all, I ain't trying to turn down no 10 bands, but that motherfucker gotta be the right stipulation. Like, uh, I ain't doing shit with you. We ain't going nowhere. We can kick it at the house for like an hour. Other than that, man, shit. Fuck it, I'm out. None of that. None of that. And I make it so ridiculous because guess what? I don't expect it to happen. And it ain't gonna happen. Some old lady coming up to me. Out of all the niggas in the world, she come to me, hey, you know, I'm trying to give you an allowance. Oh, uh, you don't get your old creepy ass away from me. Yeah, just because we in the same age bracket, we both adults. That shit creepy as fuck. You think I want an adult taking care of me? You know, I could take care of you. Mm-hmm. You still one of them young, good-looking ones. I said, hey, man. I mean, you cute and all. You cool. But, but you better go find one of them 21, 22-year-old knucklehead niggas. I'm not about to be up under your spell for 10 bands a month. Hell, I ain't had a job that paid a nigga 10 bands in a month. You think I'm about to work for your independent ass for 10 bands a month? You better get the fuck on somewhere. The fuck you gonna do for me for 10 bands a month? Why you got 10 bands a month to be giving away in the first place? What you doing illegal? You can come up with 10 bands and give a nigga some bread like that. That's the kind of shit I'm thinking of. First thing probably about 10 bands a month. No, nah, that shit don't sound right. That sound like I might have to file taxes on that because you can't. Well, yeah, they did up at the 15,000. So 10 bands a month. Okay, you slick devil. You you knew about that because they changed that in what 2019. But yeah. I still want to know where you getting 10 bands a month to give to a nigga like me when we ain't doing shit. Mm, that's what I want to know. 
Yeah, but y'all don't be thinking about that stuff. That's what I be thinking about. <laughs> That's what I be thinking about when I hear shit. Ten bands a month, nigga. The fuck I gotta do for ten bands a month? You know you gotta do something. It's hard enough to get. <laughs> it's hard enough to get a hundred dollars a week for doing nothing. You think you about to get ten bands to do nothing? Like, let's be realistic. Mercedes accepted that ten thousand dollars a month. They hit her ass with two. 80 page document that she had to sign. Do you know what you're about to get into for 10 bands a month? Do you know what 10 bands a month in Mississippi is? That shit like 15,000 a month in Mississippi. That motherfucker about to stretch and chuck a Lisa. That motherfucker about to be long. 10 bands a month. You think you ain't going to have shit to do? This is another one of the situations. I'm not saying you asking for it, but you putting yourself in a situation that bad things could happen. Think about it. Think about it. All the scams you hear about on the internet, a nigga take $1,000 and turn it into five. You give a nigga $2,000, they gonna turn it into eight. You hear all kinds of shit. You send me $500, and then I'm going to mail you a million dollars. All these scams are dealing with money that you ain't going to make in a month from your regular ass job. You think you about to get that shit for free? Mm. You think you about to just really make 10 bands a month? Can't you say shit and got a condo for free? No. It don't matter how much money a nigga is making. How much money a woman is making. If they putting bread down like that, they want something. They want something. And they gonna have some control because them niggas is breaking off bread. You hear that? Bread. Ain't no way you thinking, oh shit, it's 10 bands of money. Ain't nothing. Yeah. Mm, you ain't getting away with 10 bands for nothing. Maji said women put uh put themselves in bad situations every day in order to survive. I mean that's true. Everybody does to a certain extent. But you heard my logic. Fuck that. 10 bands. Nah, I know I gotta do more than do more than a little bit of nothing for 10 bands in a month. Fuck that. I heard Diamond quitting the store. I'm about to go get a part time up there at security. Then fuck that. Ten bands a month, my ass. You know you about to be working. Hell, they might have you coming up and cleaning up the house. Ten bands a month, and your ass can't say no. <laughs> but then she sees Big L and Duff. They actually dropped the box in oxycodone. It didn't dropped out the bottom. Oh, they had oxycodone. I thought they had oxycodone. Yeah, oxycodone. Mm. Not bad, though. But we see that our girl roulette, she ain't she ain't tripping. She just told old boy if he want another ride, hit her up. Because she don't give a damn. Now she making that bread. She got the light up heels on. And she sees them drugs back there. Oh, yeah, it's on now. She gave a wink because she's about making this money. She's about making that bank. So now she just has a plug on the dope. She just has a plug on the dope. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know how that's going to play out, though. Let me see. Whoa, wait a minute. Why don't I even become a Mercedes, really? Mm -mm. What y'all think? Y'all think Roulette's going to, she going to get in the dope game with them? Or what, was she going to make something shake? What, what, what are y'all expecting from Roulette? She going to keep doing the hoeing? Because you know if you do the hoeing, you out the dope. Or is she gonna try to get in with Duff and L on these, you know what I'm saying, on the drugs, on the scripts? Jimmy on the beat, boy.